wear my blank canvas. It's a scary thing, a big white blank canvas. And what I want to do is put all my images on first. So I use my uh, modeling paste to stick my just ordinary photocopies. I've got some lovely old bits of text here, some handwritten script. I've got images of sailboats, little vintage postcards copied, things out of books. I love this tissue paper, but in fact it's an uh, old dressmaker's pattern. Beautiful to collage with, and I love the line work. It's almost like the sails, so it's almost picking up on the idea of the sailboat, and this is the sail. So incorporating all of these images together, and I sort of stick those down. Don't think too much about where things are going to go, but as, as long as they're balanced. And then I put my texture down, so my fantastic modeling paste. So I love to use these stencils. So pushing the modeling paste through the stencil. So then I apply my modeling paste. I love this, it gives real texture to the canvas. And I like to incorporate the modeling paste through the stencil and pull away, and you get these wonderful patterns and textures. And I, I think this is sort of reminiscent of uh, um, fishing nets. So I've got a real seaside fishing and boat theme going on. So I'm using it all in the canvas and balancing where all the texture is going to go and then I've got my sand texture gel I mean a bit of the beach actually on my canvas so that's really lovely to use and then paint over the top as well so I've put it around my shell which is a dark background so continuing the seaside texture of the sand on there and then finally my glazing resin so mixed up and drizzled across this is almost like water so picking up here and having these wonderful splashes of water to finish off. And that's going to take overnight to dry and then tomorrow I'm ready to put my colour on it and really give it that extra bit of wazz and make all the beautiful um, betrayal, prism and moon really make all the images stand out and bring the canvas together. When all my textures dry, and that will be overnight, and then I'm ready tomorrow to actually add my colour and start painting my background, and it's going to look gorgeous. The first product that I used to stick my collage images is Bindex, the sand texture gel, so I've got all this lovely texture. It was the modelling paste. So using a stencil and palette knife. Finally the glazing resin. So obviously when your all your textures dry um, the next day it's really lovely to then begin to start applying colour to it and your colour will be a mixture of the betrayal glass paint and the fantasy moon and prism and just using it like any other paint so you can mix your colours together, you can blend your colours, we can pick out little areas of pattern, perhaps just using the moon, we can drop areas in just using the prism and we can drizzle it using a pet or a stick so it really is just having fun with your colour on top.